To write the name for MnO2, we need to realize that we have a metal and a nonmetal. And because of that, we're going to treat this as an ionic compound. So that means we first name the metal as it appears on the periodic table. Mn, that's manganese. Next, we write the name of the nonmetal also as it appears on the periodic table, lowercase o. But then we replace the ending with IDE. So we cross that out, IDE. So at this point, we have manganese oxide. But manganese is a transition metal. It can have different oxidation states depending on what it's bonded to. So we have to look at what it's bonded to. That's the oxygen here. So on the periodic table, we're looking for oxygen, which is right here, 2 minus. So that means each oxygen has a 2 minus ionic charge. So in order for everything to add up to 0, so we have 2 times 2 minus, that's 4 minus. That means the manganese, that's going to have to be 4 plus. 2 times 2 minus, that's the 4 minus. 4 minus and 4 plus, that gives us 0. Because we have this 4 plus on the manganese, we write the Roman numeral 4 and put that in parentheses between the manganese and the oxide. That makes the name for MnO2 manganese 4 oxide. With this 4, that tells us the charge on the manganese here is 4 plus. This is Dr. B with the name for MnO2. Thanks for watching.